Depends on that figure member. And his key, his key it out. He will, he will talk it, key it out. I give you the paper. Okay. Then, all right. What's the phone number that you called the member with? Did you call any member about this wheel like 20 minutes ago? Probably more than 20 minutes ago. Okay, so what's the number? Give me the number, the telephone number that you called with. No, you said you called the member 20 minutes ago. I need, because they don't have any paperwork. I don't know. Yeah, we didn't get any paperwork. Who they are, and they told me you spoke with them. So the only link I can find, if you can give me the phone number from your phone, and I compare it with the phone number the member gave me, so I can hand over the tire for it. This is the only way everything makes sense to me. All right? So just look at your call history and give me the phone number, please. Thank you. Uh, All right. I appreciate that. So, six three one. What's it? Thank you. Get my wheel. Right. Thanks. Bring you out back. Yeah, buddy. All All right. Right. Meet you up All right, sweet dude. Right. Oh, watch out! Oh my God. <laughs> My wheel, my wheel. Never in my life, man. Someone's pain in the ass. I'm buying a tire machine. My wheel. We never got it. Let's roll. Remember hours ago, I was making a video like just a regular, ordinary, stupid, mindless person about uh, tires, changing a flat tire, but it gets better. So, fortunately or unfortunately, tires that are on this vehicle and that vehicle are from Costco. Well, fortunately, they patch it for free. Alright. So, there's some more on named Samir. Maybe he watches my videos. I don't know. But this guy totally giving me a hard time when it comes to pick up my tire. I see my tire. I go, hey, my tire. I go, I talk to the guy in the bay. I go, hey, what do I got to do to pick that thing up? He goes, no, I'll call the guy in the front. So, call the guy in the front. Doesn't know what's going on. So I go in there thinking it's a different, same person up there. No, it's a different person. No idea what he's doing. Talking to some lady, bullshit. Anyway, the guy makes a big scene. <laughs> we kind of make a scene. I got my tire back. Waiting a half an hour to pick up a tire that has been done and sitting there. I could have just walked in there and grabbed it myself, put it on my little pickup, and did that. I went down the road. It had to be a pain in the ass. Unbelievable. So, what do I always say? I'm spinning this to talk more. What do I always say about this area? If you have been, if you have been subscribed for a while, what do I say about this area? Is this area great? Is this area terrible? Is this area filled with smart people or just morons? Samir probably doesn't have a 94 Chevy pickup because he probably couldn't figure out how to fix it. But that was a, oh, another thing, right? I applied to the same place, Costco, the tire center, applied from them multiple times. I definitely, as a person, oh, oh shit, I got, here's me being uh, doing a Samir move. So anytime we do something stupid, we're gonna say we did a Samir. And I got the neutral now. My shift indicator is not right, I got a chalk on the wheel. But we did a Samir. Shit, I hate when that happens. No offense, anyone. 
entertain that to watch as my shit, but there's the guy who blocked the thing, the mother moron with the light, you know, blocks the, blocks the filament. You know what the real genius is around here. But let's put back into this thing. I always do that, run over shit. So I applied to the same place multiple times because I pretty much have a good understanding of how the customer is going to think because I have been jerked around and jerked around and that was one of my main reasons I wanted to learn automotive repair when I was around, I don't know, probably around 20 years old. I didn't really know what I was going to do with my life. But I don't even have a job now, so, you know. But I wanted to be in that industry because I just got sick and tired of people jerking around this truck jerking around the wagon, jerking around the other thing, charging too much for crappy. I just totally misjudged his turn. I usually can do this. What? That's crappy shit. Hopefully I don't smash into anything. I got this. Yeah. So we did that because we kind of got mad being a customer. So we said, why not just do it myself? And like I always say, when I do not live here, I will be buying my own tire machine and tire balancer. It's probably gonna cost me 3,000, 3,500 bucks, or maybe both things, maybe even four grand. But I'm gonna buy it just so I don't have to deal with people. You say, how many times are you gonna use it? I don't know, not too many times. But to have it and not have to deal with this bullshit for half an hour, that crazy amount of money, it's worth it to me. But what a freaking moron. And then the guy goes back in my in our face because we're videotaping this fucking moron. And they used to say, oh, in the state of Florida, it's not allowed to videotape people. Really? What about the security system that I'm in right there? They videotape people every day at the pool. Yeah, it's illegal. Where the hell is he from? I don't know. But what a moron. You know, some people are great. And then you get a moron that you got to deal with. It just ruins it for everyone. And that's pretty much the main problem in the world. People, they, they think there's problems. That's the main problem right there, is that you have people who think they know everything. They get a job, I don't know, no customer service, they don't care about the customer at all. I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. But overall, it was just screwed up. An easy process was made very difficult. And when an easy process is made very difficult, that's what pisses people off. And that's one of my main things, um, is to try to make things easy for people. And that's why I get frustrated so much, I think, when you hear me, because I make things easy for people, yet people make things very hard for me, myself, and other people, when I don't have to be like that. Because a little bit of smarts goes a long way. You know, I don't care what someone's education is, how many years they went to school, master's degree, whatever, PhD. It's, it's not gonna cure stupid, but those people, who uh, say they did this and that, they're usually the worst, really. I'm just saying, some people are great, but usually most of them are just the worst. But that's that. We got our tire fixed. Hopefully that guy wasn't the one patching it. I can patch tires, I've done it. That's that. And, uh, another easy process. Made difficult.